in different museums and things. Shireen Nishat has lived in the United States since the 1970s, but her work engages directly with the lives of women in the Islamic society of her birth and more recently with the experiences of people throughout the Middle East. Nishat's 2009 film, Women Without Men, a magical realist story of women in Iran at the time of the 1953 coup, won the top directing award at the Venice Film Festival. She is equally well known for her photographic portraits, on which she inscribes verses of Persian poetry in tiny script. Her current show, Our House is on Fire, is at New York's Robert Rauschenberg Foundation, which chose Nishat for its annual Human Rights Commission to an individual artist. She used it to make portraits of poor elderly people in Egypt. The concept of this exhibition is uh, about the aftermath of the, the wonderful Arab Spring, which we hope it's still continuing, but for the moment it has had some uh, catastrophic results. And I wanted to um, create a group of photographs that, um, that talks about the human dimension, of the street people who, who have lost a great deal. She interviewed men and women through an Arabic language interpreter, asking them to think about the losses they had suffered as her longtime photographer, Larry Barnes, captured their images. I told them if they want to talk about it, and we had translator, I was all ears, um, but if they didn't want to talk about it and just uh, respond to it by their facial expression, by their gaze, it's also perfectly fine. It's the first time that I've come this close to being a documentary artist in a way that really tapping into real human beings and real emotions as opposed to fictional characters that try to play a role. The portraits resemble photorealistic drawings, an effect caused by the microscopic calligraphy overlaid on the faces, visible only in extreme close-up. Another subject involves images of feet that might have been taken in a morgue, with identifying toe-tag labels dangling. Nishat says they were in response to the Egyptian military's attack on Muslim Brotherhood protesters last summer. I was just struck by endless amount of images that I saw of dead young people um, that were all laid down and then they had this feat and a tag that came uh, as their identity, I suppose. Um, and I felt in the context of this narrative, it was very important to remind ourselves uh, that, again, the eu euphoric and uh, wonderful, inspiring energy that came from the Arab Spring. Uh, so much of it ended in terrible violence. The Rauschenberg Foundation will donate the proceeds from two of the works from Our Houses on Fire to a rights initiative of the artist's choosing, in this case, human rights in Egypt. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.